We'll now be assessing tongue to the incisive papillae, or in other words, tongue to the spot. If you don't yet have a form to follow along, click the link below, enter your email address, and a full myofunctional therapy assessment form will be emailed to you so that you can follow along as you do these tests. Just a reminder, if you're doing this assessment on your child or your baby, your young child or your baby, skip this assessment part or this uh, section because it's going to be impossible. All right, so tongue to the incisive papillae. What is the incisive papillae? If you open your mouth and you put your tongue to touch your front teeth and then you bring your tongue back, you'll feel a little bit of a ridge here. And then if you move your tongue side to side, you'll feel a bump. That is your incisive papillae. And from now on, we'll call it the spot. So this is another quick, easy measurement. If you were at the myofunctional therapist clinic, they would use something like this. You can use just a basic ruler. If you have got a big nose or a big chin, it might be a little bit more difficult, but do your best. And you're gonna go central incisor of the, ma of the mandible to the central incisor of the maxilla with your tongue at the spot. So it'll look like this. Okay, and you'll have your number in millimeters. We're going to take that number and we're going to put that number over your maximum mandibular opening, which you assessed in the previous part of the assessment. That is going to give you your tongue range of motion ratio. Your tongue range of motion ratio is currently used to give you an ankyloglossia or tongue tie classification grade. I don't always use this, this uh, ratio specifically for that. I just use it to give me a, a good understanding of the overall range of motion of a person's tongue. Range of motion could be limited by various things. One of those does include a tight restricted frenulum or frenum underneath the tongue, which would tether the tongue down. That is also known as a tongue tie. Tongue range of motion can also be limited by tongue coordination. So again, it just gives us a general idea of how you're able to move your tongue at this point. The grading system is that if you can, or sorry, if that if your tongue range of motion ratio is 80% or higher, that's a grade one. If you're in the 50 to 80% range, that's a grade two. If you're in a 25 to 50% range, that's a grade three. And if you are less than 25%, then you are in grade four. Do not let these numbers scare you. It just gives us a general idea of what we're starting with so that we have a better idea of how to, how to progress treatment or how to uh, address what may be going on. If you have any questions with this one, please write a question in the comments below or find me at summerspt.com. I would be happy to help.